Nestled in the heart of the Brainerd Lakes area, Cross Lake is a picturesque town on the Whitefish chain with a population just under 2,500. It has one road through town, one famous blue ox, and one notable resident who has won the biggest prize in sports. Super Bowl champion kicker becomes small town Minnesota fire chief. It sounds like something out of a movie. It's kind of like a dream, right? You know, every boy's dream is to play in the NFL and also be a firefighter. Derek James has his incredible story. Chip Lowmiller's journey to the pros began in grade school. My dad, being the coach, said, just go out there and kick. Lowmiller worked at it, becoming an All-State player for the Woodbury Royals before college ball at the University of Minnesota. A 62-yarder for the record books okay, against he Iowa was special. Look at that. It is good. But a game winner from half that distance at Michigan was his favorite. I go out there and kick the field goal. It's just dead silent except for the band in the corner. Our University of Minnesota band just screaming and we just went nuts. Low Miller was drafted by Washington in 1988. In his fourth season with the team. So we just walked right through the playoffs and knowing coming back to Minnesota was a huge deal for me, uh, even though I had to get 77 tickets. As the only Minnesotan on that Super Bowl 26 team, he had an additional role. I was the entertainment director for the week. Taking a few teammates ice fishing on Cedar Lake. And they kept saying, why is this road so bumpy? Why don't they plow it? I said, well, we're on the lake. <laughs> and it's like they were trying to stand up in the back seat because they were worried we were going to crash through the water. But to keep from crashing under the pressure. I had to get a field goal kickoff under 1.2 seconds. Low Miller prepared mentally. My grandma was really big into positive imagery and never think negatively of what you're going to be doing. So I would do a little routine. I'd get to, get to the stadium early and I'd do some positive imagery and seeing myself actually kicking game winning field goals. He didn't have to hit a game winner against Buffalo, putting the game out of reach with two late field goals and earning a Super Bowl ring. The celebration was incredible. I think I have a picture of myself and Mark Rippon because we were really good friends um, on the 50 yard line on the logo. And I don't think there was very many people left in the whole stadium. Post football, Low Miller right. traded his cleats for fire boots. My father was in the fire service, uh, so that kind of carried over to me. And I joined right when I got out of the NFL. I wanted to be a part of the team. I enjoy the energy, the uh, um, adrenaline rush, so to speak, but also serving the community and helping the community out. As Cross Lake's fire chief, he's also passing on the great coaching he received. It was fun to teach uh, new firefighters or new departments, new things, and you always learn something. Low Miller couldn't stay away from the football field either. He spent 14 years as head coach at Pequot Lakes High School. That's the last time he put one through the uprights. So probably five years ago I, I kicked. And? It was good. <laughs> From? How 40, far? Yeah, 40 yards. Okay. I could probably, I think I did a 50 yarder one of the years back then, but yeah, I could still do it. His multiple acts in life revolving around teamwork, highlighted by the chance to succeed at home. To play in the Dome where I played my college football, play in front of my fans in the state of Minnesota, and, and actually winning, beating Buffalo. It was, it was the highlight of my life. Low Miller watched tonight's Super Bowl from his couch at home. He says he went to a party once and it wasn't for him. He likes to watch the game uninterrupted. Oh, good for him. He saw yeah. some good kicking tonight. They, yes, he both did. kickers got all their field goals. There was just that one blocked extra point that Mooney had. What a great story. I think yeah. well, you know all of us know his name, right? Yeah. yeah. From being from here, but I'm not sure everyone knew the second half of his life story. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, pretty impressive. And it sounds like uh, Cross Lake's going to be home for a very long time. Well, good for them yeah. and good for him. Thank you. Yep.